Safe Zone held a training for professors and student workers in order to be of service to a specific culture here on Troy University's campus. We're giving them the basics through lectures this morning and then this afternoon we're going to do a, a role playing scenario and we're going to give them situations that they may be confronted with if a student comes into their office, they've seen the sticker that looks like this, they're going to come in and they're going to say I have this problem and we're going to kind of run through scenarios with them and, and show them how to respond. We're not teaching them to be counselors but we're giving them the knowledge to help the student out at that moment. Although this isn't a counseling training, Safe Zone wants to better prepare people when faced with any type of situation. Again, uh, with the training, we're exposing you to um, several different folks that are speaking about very specific minorities. Uh, and some may not consider themselves minorities, but different cultures. And that's, that's really uh, what we're talking about, too, with the training, is we're not doing counseling. We're using a very basic model of listening and providing a, a safe space. And then the next step of how we can help get to you to a person that can address whatever your needs may be here on campus. Faculty and staff that go through the training will have this sticker outside of their door. Although it originated with the LGBTQ community, Troy University has opened up safe zone for all the marginalized populations. Well, part of this happened was because I had a safe zone sticker on my door. I was trained up in Michigan. Uh, and I had it on my door and some students came and they had a, a concern about someone that was suicidal who was also a student. That was referred by me to the Dean of Students. And so it's possible, I guess you could say, that the Dean of Students may have saved a student's life through that interaction. And, and the reason that interaction happened was because of that initial sticker that those other students saw. Casey Freeman, Troy, Trojan Vision News.